that's out at the end of the show. I can't talk to you. <laughs> so, this is obviously Stuart Lee and, and Sasquatch. Or I don't know what's going on here. Before we talk about your shows and the importance of, of you two as an item at the Edinburgh Festival, yeah. what is going on with your face, Richard? It's a beard, Mark. I know that. <laughs> you what, when you first, did, did you see it growing? Because I saw it when it was in full flow, like this. One night. Yeah, I didn't it. see it. Well, like, I have done a stop frame thing, you know, when they put those cameras on so you can watch it growing if you want. I, I stood very still <laughs> and for two yes, months. That's the one yeah. Uh, Stuart Lee's been doing this lunchtime, so he's got it for his play. He's got oh, it because right. he needs it for the character and also... See, I asked him the other day, I said, what's, what's, why are you doing this? And he said, oh, it's just a look. <laughs> so I'm glad, no, I'm glad that there's a post set and there's a reason to get rid of it. There is, it's going in a week's time. Are you comfortable gone? with it? No, it's horrible, I hate right, it. Okay. I look and, an and idiot, Stuart, obviously. Stuart, obviously you have to look at him when you're doing your show together. Not really, you know, I just look at the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Stuart, that that is very much your manner that you look down, yeah. and now I can see why. That right. was, so I'm doing this lunchtime show where it's supposed to be like Richard and Judy. When we had the publicity shots done, he looked a bit like Richard Maidley. Now he looks like Richard Maidley after sort of a crack problem for kind of two months in the gutter. Sort of thing. Yeah. What, what is the show? Because I don't know if you remember, but the other day I bumped into you and I said, what's the show about? And you said, oh, it's not really about, nothing really happens. And what, in our lunch? Yeah, because I wanted to come and see it, but you, you, you made it sound like quite good. So no, it's really good. Off. Different things happen Excellent. every day. Right. Today, uh, when we do, like, we give away loads of money to the audience, because we always make a loss in Edinburgh, so we thought we might as well go for broke. And uh, we let someone king of the show and they get free stuff. And then we have guests on. It's about, it's basically about, we auction tickets at the beginning, that's quite good fun. We humiliate anyone from the media, so if you want to come along, you have to wear a hat. Yeah, you're hat. from the media. If, I, if I'm from the media, so are you. No, not in the terms of our show. I we love our right. audience. You're, you're the it's bosses, the audience. Obviously. We hate the media and journalists. We're here to entertain the people. Right. Yeah. So you, you, you're, dis you're jokes, disassociating right. yourself from the media. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're still going on television shows such as this. <laughs> we thought we'd disassociate yeah. ourselves from them before they disassociate yeah. themselves. Yeah, that's for the rest of us. Like we can go. There, we've gone. <laughs> yeah. It's like resigning before they, we get they, sacked. They can also slag you off as much as they want, and you go, no, but we started it. <laughs> that's right. They're just responding. They're to only us. not giving us another TV series because we had a go at them. <laughs> on the front that's that's How much money been. have you given away? What, what's the most you've given away? We gave away one bloke due to a loophole in the competition we had. Uh, Which we've since corrected. He, yeah. uh, a competition made... that you started and made the rules for. Yeah. And <laughs> someone found a loophole. Yeah, and he, yeah. he got £165. How? <laughs> <Pound. laughs> because we said we'd do whoever paid the most, we said we'd double whatever they paid because we auctioned the tickets. So, and he paid £165. So we had to give him his money back and another £165. Yeah. We didn't did, give him really that much. Pay that much. He did, he, he had did. cash. He had £165 with him. So we gave him his £165 back and another £165. But so every, but people, we're giving but, away about 100 quid. No, no, about a day. how bad you feel about yourselves, and obviously 165 quid's worth bad. Yeah. He was such an idiot, he didn't bring along loads of mates with <laughs> loads of money. Well, they, someone, they could have retired from the festival. Someone brought £2,000 in cash the next day, but we closed the loophole by then. Right, well, the loophole should have only been any amount of money over £4 will be in pennies. Yeah. And then you would like, Let, let's, tell us, let's tell everyone where the show is on, because you're, you're doing different shows as well, aren't you? Yeah. You're doing Clubs Are Adustra, yeah, you're doing part that of that show. Clubs Are Adustra at 10 o'clock, which has been described as the best best show ever in the Times and piss poor in the list. So you have to you uh, decide. think which one is. That was great. And I'm doing a stand-up show on my own at eight called King Dong vs Moby Dick. And, and I'm doing, doing uh, Excavating Retail, which is beard. Play, I'm yeah. naked in it. Which and I don't care if you come or not, because I'm selling out anyway. So. And you're doing Fiddle on the Roof. Fiddle on the Roof. Sorry, I, I couldn't resist that. And he's also uh, backing Bob Dylan in the late 60s in the Woodstock years. And oh. we're doing this morning original. Go on, get out, go on. Oh, you're done? Yeah. Oh, wow, I thought there was another 15 shots ago. Thank you very much. It's been, uh, it's been a wild pleasure. Quite good. Talking to the prayer of you. Now time for some more performance.